I've just arrived at Belton Park in Grantham, Lincolnshire. It's a lovely day today, the sun is shining for a change as you can see. Yeah, I had to book online to get in here today. They're only letting a certain amount of people in at a time. So that cost me £8, which is not too bad for a day out. Especially when the sun's shining. Yeah, unfortunately, all the indoor stuff here at Belton Park still closed. Belton House being one of them. Because of the pandemic, so still plenty to do outdoors, plenty to see. We'll have a little walk up to Belton House now. We can have a little look at it from the outside. It looks absolutely gorgeous. It is a shame we couldn't get to see inside, but I think I might come back at some point to do that. Wow, there's Belton House. It's a grade one listed house. Built between 1685 and 1688. That's absolutely lovely to see that. Here's a bit of the park. A lot of families here again today. The weather's lovely. Right, we can have a little, see if we can walk around the back of Belton House, go and have a little look around the garden. It's supposed to be absolutely lovely, so. Let's go and have a look what these people say. Right, there's another, another side view of Belton House. It's absolutely lovely. And now we're just going to have a, a little wander around the uh, Belton House Gardens. There's a little bit of information about it as you walk in there. Summer adventures at Belton House. Wow, it's absolutely massive around there. I didn't realise how big it was. That's the stretch of the garden there, just where the house is. So I think that's where we'll be making our way up first. And then I think we'll trail around, around all that far side there. I can see some deer and stuff in the fields over there and some animals. Uh, right, let's have a little walk around here first, go and see the uh, Belton House Gardens. I'm so happy the sun's shining today. You get to see the beauty of this place, it's absolutely gorgeous. Definitely wouldn't have been the same with uh, grey skies and rain, like in my last two videos. Right, here's the entrance to Belton House Gardens. You can see how beautiful they look, how well kept they are. Right, we're right round the other side of Belton House now. Show you that side of it. That's some house. Right, okay. Let's have a little nosy around these lovely gardens. Well, so far so good. I definitely recommend you coming here and I've only been here for 10 minutes, so. Right. You come down the main path. Let's follow it round and have a look how big these gardens are. What's down here? Oh, there's just tons of little pathways and little alleyways that go off all different directions here, so... A bit like all my other adventures. Right, I've walked all the way around to the other side of the gardens. That looks lovely. see what that is at the end <laughs> right what's this say it says Belton's busy garden team are working on a list of jobs that have accumulated over lockdown God, I think everyone can relate to that at the moment can't I right so this pass bringing us down here
bit of a fountain there that's not on, that's a shame. Looks like there's a, a little bit of an indoor garden built up there as well, we'll go check that out. Oh, some amazing scenery here though. Absolutely lovely. up here hey, hey. Ah, indoor garden bit here let's go see what this is all about and I've got a bit of a one way system here I think you find that everywhere now don't you that you go because of the pandemic it's nice to see stuff getting back to normal now though let's hope it stays that way there we go around this other side here. Right, let's make our way into the uh, indoor bit. Right, what's in here? What's that say? Welcome to the orangey. That's a nice little touch though. Some fish there for you. We may as well follow it around while we're in it. I don't think it's going to take as long to get around this bit. I think I'm going to run around it. There we go. We need to get back outside to the fresh air. Right. That's that little bit of the gardens. Right, let's carry on our little walk around the park. Looking forward to this. Look at that. Little bit of a church there or something. Right, it's lovely. Let's go and have a little closer look at that church. I think it's a church anyway. Another place that's still closed, unfortunately. Wow, some history here. Belton Park is actually around 1,300 acres, so <laughs> we're going to try and get around a little bit of that today, hopefully. We won't be getting around all of it. Alright, there's the house. That's where we're making our way from now. We'll just keep following these paths, see where they take us. Yeah, they did offer me offer me a map on the way in. I wish I would have took it now. That would have made my life a lot easier. I have seen a few people with maps in their hands. Right, let's see where this goes. I might ask someone actually. Right, where's this path taking us? Right, I think my best bet is to make my way back down to that uh, to that main path. 
because I'm going to end up in the middle of nowhere otherwise. Make our way back down here. Yeah. Are we getting across here? Of course we are. Yeah, I was heading to the top of this hill, this archway that I can see right there in the distance. But I don't actually think you can get up there. There's no, no pathway or no gate where you can uh, get access. So if you stood at the house and you look all the way down, it looks like it's just all straight. But when you get, when you get halfway to about here, there's a big drop, you see, so. And there's no gate or anything. That's a bit of a shame. I was ready for that walk. Right, we're going to follow this path down here now. Just found a sign here that says uh, Lakeside Walk and Boathouse. So we're going to have a little nosy down there, see if there's anything exciting down there. It's a shame, really, because when you stood at the house and you and you look into the distance, it looks it looks like you can keep walking, but as you get there, it's all fenced off and there's bits you can't get to and stuff like that. So it has been a little bit frustrating for me so far. But I'm going to keep venturing around, see what I can find, and hopefully we'll uh, be able to make a good video out of it. All right, let's go and find this boathouse and lake. See what that's like. Been told it's about five minutes or so down this path he said follow the path do a right through a black gate so that's what we're gonna do god it's like a maze around here it's mad you don't mind walking around paths like this if there's something at the end of it no you don't want to get there and end up being disappointed Right, we're getting close. It is a lovely walk though. Beautiful spot. Right, I've been told it's down here. Follow this path around here. There's people coming from all directions here. <laughs> As you can see. Right, I think we've arrived at the boathouse. Oh, this looks nice. Oh, that is a lovely lake. Look at that. That is definitely very relaxing. Nice spot for a bit of a uh, bit of meditation. You might find me cross-legged in a minute, chaps, doing a bit of meditation. A few ducks and swans on the lake there. I think we'll follow it round. Supposedly it goes in a figure of eight. Here's the boathouse. No one home today. Let's have a little walk around this boathouse. It's like an empty, empty boat house. Hiya, you alright? It's nice and relaxing, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Right, let's keep following this, this lake round. What's down here? Another little pathway. Looks like a little bit of another dead end. Right, 
just follow it down here. Across this little bridge. That looks like at some point I've had used to have a little bit of water flowing down there, but that was nice. Right, what's down here? Little bench there for you to sit on to chill out by, by the side of the lake. I think I might do that myself now actually. That's some very calm water that. Whether I can make this into an exciting YouTube video. <laughs> We'll have to see, but I'm going to give it a good go. God, it's turned into <laughs> to one of them walks where do I keep going or do I turn back? It's a tricky one. It's got a bit of a jungle-like feel to it around here, chaps. Right, I'm going to have to keep walking now, aren't we? Fear of missing out, that's what's happening. I'll be skipping and whistling in a minute. Nice bit of exercise for you. Yeah, it looks like, it looks like we've ended up doing the full figure of eight. Just coming to the other side of it now. That's a nice little trail. Adventurous. Yeah, I've just had a couple of people ask me for my YouTube channel name, so I'm onto a winner there. God, there's been quite a lot of walking involved in this video so far, you know. I must have done over an hour and a half walking on so far. Right, let's head back through this gate. We're going to head in that direction over there. Is that some deer I can see in the distance? Or are they all sheep? We'll find out when we get there, eh? Right. Advertising Christmas already, eh? <laughs> oh, thank you very much. It was lovely in there. All right. Cheers. Glad you enjoyed it. Thank you. Right, we're gonna make let's make our way across this massive field. Look at the size of it. Yeah, there's a few deer over there just chilling out under a tree. Let's see if I can sneak up on them. I really didn't expect to see any deer today. We can have a little walk up so you can get a little bit closer without scaring them off. like a little family little one spotted me there we go few sheep eyeing me up there. Yeah, this is about as close as we're going to get to the deer. I, don't, I really don't want to scare them off, so... There they go. Whole little family of them there.
looks like they're getting all right with the sheep. Right, I think that's the end of the video, chaps. Start making our way back to the car. There is a little bit of a cafe area that is just starting to open back up. We've actually just got families sitting about everywhere today. People walking the dogs, people just sitting under trees, having picnics with their families. Taking advantage of a beautiful sunny day in England. Tried to make it as entertaining as possible, but at least you've got to see a little bit of what uh, Belton Park's got to offer. Thank you so much to all my new subscribers. I really do appreciate it. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.